Welcome to the stream, everybody. Thank you all for coming. And yes, what you are seeing on screen right now is fact, not fiction. Mattia Bonotto and Ferrari is over. At the end of this year, 31st of December, Mattia, gone. Not just moved within Ferrari, 28 years, finished. Been there since 95, I believe. Um, and that's it. End of an era for Mattia Bonotto at Ferrari. Welcome, everyone. Thank you all for coming. Pro Pork, Martin, Mark, Axel, Pedro, Zaid, Cena, Had, Wilson, Berlin, Gibbo, PHO2, Jacob, Kenji, Graham, Sam, Amanda, Gold, Sava, Bruno, Giovanni, Robert, Elsa, Junkins, Finn, Cola, Mick, Jack, Daniel, Savvy, Ali, Kyle, Joe, Amy, Layla, Tommy. Hello, everyone. Welcome. Yes, the uh, worst kept secret, Ferrari don't like leaks, um, but this one did leak, is that Mattia Bonotto is gone. He's left Ferrari. He left. He resigned. Uh, not so much kicked out. You've got to wonder how much of this is, you know, you, you know, jump before you pushed. Um, but Matteo Bonotto will be leaving Ferrari at the end of this year. We'll look at the statements. Um, but there's quite a lot to talk about here now because, you know, what next for Matteo? Who's going to replace him at Ferrari? That's one of the biggest, that's if not the most high pressure team principal job on the grid. I mean, you look at the other kind of big teams around them. Mercedes have had Toto Wolf since what, 20, is it 2012, 2013? I can't even remember. Um, you've had Christian at Red Bull since Red Bull, you know, they bought at Jaguar. He's been out there, been there the whole time, 2013, yeah. Um, you know, that revolving Ferrari door um, of team principals, they've had Arriva Bene. Um, they had, what's it, Machiachi before that? I don't even remember. Um, they've had a lot of different team principals knocking about. Ferrari and Bonotto is the latest to leave that role. Um, you got to wonder, you know, the Ferrari team principal job that's the one, isn't it? If you can make that work as a team principal, if you can do what Braun and Todd did back in the Schumacher days, you got to wonder. Ross Braun announced his retirement. Well, yeah, he announced he was leaving F1 as well, which is, which is coincidence. Could Ross Braun come back? The thing is, it, it's such a high pressure, high expectation job. You know, you've got the, you've not only got the weight of, you know, your driver's fan bases, but you've got the weight of the Tafosi and that expectation and that desire. No team is followed like Ferrari. No team's followed with the passion and dedication like Ferrari are, you know? That is the one, that is the one proper heart team you could say Williams yeah to an extent sure got heritage McLaren heritage yeah but really in terms of proper like been in the sport since 1950 proper you know what I mean proper following that's a big big set of shoes to to fill um because Mattia did a lot of things right he did a lot of things wrong I think as well um, I think to lose him entirely, I don't know, I don't know. I think losing him entirely is a bit of a, bit of a shame. But yeah, let's talk about it, people. Let's talk about it. So first of all, we're going to start with a poll. Um, is is Bonotto leaving Ferrari a W or an L? Right, what we saying? He's leaving entirely, remember. He's not moving to a different department. He's leaving. 28 years, done, finished. Something new. Thank you, Ryan, by the way, for the 179. Kimi for Ferrari team principal in 2023. Imagine Kimi Raikkonen as a team. Would he be a good team principal? Maybe he would. you got some, like, Andreas Seidel is quite kind of calm and doesn't show too much. So I guess Kimi could 
would fit like a sidle method. Um, but yeah. Is Bernardo leaving Ferrari a W or an L? Well, yeah, like, like ultimately for Ferrari, you know, is, is that the... Because basically, the reports seem to suggest that Bernardo felt like the board didn't have trust in him, that the senior management didn't trust him going forwards in that role. And so he basically elected to, to leave. Um, he elected to, to get out of there. Thank you, Marek. Bye. There's only one thing to say about this matter. Hallelujah. And also Leclerc World Drivers Championship 2023. Well, you say that, Marek, but like also there's whisperings that, you know, certain pressure from the Leclerc camp um, may have, may have, it's not confirmed, but may have had some kind of sway because understandably, I think Charles' confidence in Ferrari has certainly been waned this year. When you look at how you look at the car that they've built, great. Really good job on that front. But if you don't have the personnel making the right decisions, you don't have the trust in the team, even Carlos Sainz has been calling the shots uh, more often than not, then no wonder. And you've got to say, like, Charles is, is Ferrari's golden boy going forwards, and rightly so. Um, you can't blame Ferrari for putting, you know, a lot of their eggs in that basket. And... We'll talk about, obviously, potential candidates. Fred Vasseur, you know, he was a big part of Charles Leclerc's career. Um, even before Alfa Romeo, you know, um, Fred Vasseur started ART, for example, um, who Charles drove for in F2, didn't he? Did he drive for them in GP3 as well? I'm not sure. Um, but, yeah, you're, you're pretty evenly split. Because, look, and, and I get it, right? I think, I, I actually would say L, right? I think Bonotto leaving entirely is an L, because Bonotto is clearly, from a from a technical point of view, he's not he's not a, a, a leader. He's not a team principal leader. I, I've 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 always felt that way that he wasn't the man to, to lead. But is he the man to to head up development? Like for me, he's you have to give him credit for producing a f car as good as the Ferrari. You look at where they were in twenty twenty within the pack they were what sixth quickest car um i know they've got the resource they've got the money they started in 2019 developing this car they started early before the bu budget cap came in they could just throw money at the at the problem i get that but they still produced a car that was better than the mercedes this year you have to give credit for that the criticisms are clear and obvious we don't need to go over them um but in terms of a technical point of view, to lose him entirely, I think, yeah, CTO, Chief Technical Officer, would have been, would have been dreamy, you know. Cheers, Nathan, the 179, appreciate it. Mate. And thank you, Ryan, as well. Um, SF got rid of Bonato to make CL sign a new deal. Maybe, maybe. Look, a lot of that's, a lot of that's never going to come out of the woodwork, is it? But at the end of the day, like, no, I can't blame... Charles Camp, maybe Charles himself to an extent as well, and Charles team for being sceptical about Mattia moving forward because of how often Ferrari dropped the bomb and, and the buck stops with the team principal, you know? Thank you, Beth, as well. Seems like Ferrari TP job is a poisoned chalice. Yeah, look, again, he's not the first to uh, to come into that team and, and not achieve the success. Again, you look at the uh, the Todd, the Brawn era, um, the expectations of that team, the history of that team, um, anything other than winning is, is seen as abject failure. You know, the fact that Charles Leclerc got P2, still managed to get P2, um, you know, is, it should have been clear really, shouldn't it? That's the thing. It should have been a clear P2 for Charles, but it wasn't. I don't think he would have won the title this year, even if the, even if the strategy had been nailed on every weekend, even if all that had been fine. I still don't think Charles would have won. Um, but again, it's it's a relative step forward. It's a relative step forward. Um, Nicholas Todd is Charles Leclerc's manager. Really? I didn't know that, Luke. I did not know that. There you go. There you go. Um, but yeah, so that's confirmed. Question is, who will replace Mattia Bonotto? Because this man, Fred Vasseur, has been a heavily 
linked to the job. His name has been he's, he's been thrown around a lot recently. And again, like I say, his connections to Shaw, um, arguably is a big part of that because I think Ferrari want Shaw to be their Schumacher. You know what I mean? Like really see out their career, um, the bulk of it anyway. And keeping Shaw happy as much as keeping Max happy for Red Bull um, is going to... Like these drivers do carry some serious weight. I hope in time... You know what I do hope in time, right? Because you're still seeing a big discrepancy between the quickest driver in F1, so like Verstappen, Hamilton, Leclerc, these drivers, and and the worst, right? So like a Latifi, for example. Um, you're seeing... It's still a big discrepancy. I hope in time the overall quality of F1 drivers gets better and that talent spread is closer because in then almost in a way the drivers will carry less a bit less bargaining power and a bit less weight so that the teams can make more decisions but like can make decisions with the drivers as less of a factor you know what I mean because oh you know if if, if Red Bull lost Verstappen that would be a huge problem but if in 20 years time all of the field is within a tenth two tenths of of the stop and pace it's not the end of the world you know what i mean but yeah what we what we thinking what we thinking name wise get some get some names in the chat um what we thinking thank you sam by the way for the five mate appreciate it sad to see someone who's always been associated with ferrari motorsport but there's quite a bit that ferrari needs to sort clown strategy is number one of course mate of course yeah low Listen, it's uh, Ferrari's shortcomings and the damage that does to the brand as well. Because, you know, Ferrari don't invest in marketing. F1 is pretty much their only marketing activity. Um, and all the clown memes, I'm sorry, I, I'm sure the clown memes, every time John Elkin, the, 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 the big boss at Ferrari, every time he sees a Ferrari strategy clown meme, I think he like, Ugh. you just take like a little, little jab to the chest, you know? Um, because <laughs> look, look, Ferrari's this, and and Ferrari are a very kind of you know you have to get on a waiting list to buy the cars. They're quite a, I mean they're quite snobby, for want of a better word, in terms of like you have to, or oh, Ferrari choose you to get in their cars. You don't choose Ferrari, you know. Like McLaren or Lamborghini, anyone can just oh if you've got a couple of million, you can just buy one. Ferrari, no, you have to go on a waiting list. Yeah. They've got, they're very protective of their brand. When they, they sued Dead Mouse because he got his Ferrari and wrapped it in the Nyan Cat, like blue and with the cat on the side. And they tried to like sue him, didn't they? And I tried to like, take the car off him. Then when you've got the, the clown memes, it's just, it kind of doesn't really, it doesn't reflect the Ferrari that Ferrari want to be. And I think that's like, that's been, whether it actually has caused them much damage or not is debatable. But I think that for sure has played a part in this, you know. Um, thank you, Lewis, by the way, as well. Is is a return to Ferrari blame culture? Return to blame culture at Scuderia Ferrari. Yeah, look, I, th I think this was one of the criticisms lev levied at um, the Arriva Bene era. At my understanding, anyway, I could be wrong on this, but... Um, from what I've heard and what I've what I've read, like there was a bit of a blame culture at Ferrari, and Mattia was very, um, was very averse to that, averse to ever, ever putting blame. Which, which sometimes is like okay, but then also sometimes you just kind of got to, got to take it on the chin, even if it's a public statement where it's like okay, we we messed up. I, you don't have to call people out by name and like dox them. You know what I mean? You don't have to like fully call people out. But just like accept it. There, there were certain times but not I would like, oh yeah, but nothing went wrong. No, it did. It clearly did. It's okay to admit it. That's not the same as as blame like it kind of I think in certain ways Matteo kind of maybe went to the opposite extreme. Um I think there's a happy medium in there. Which I think is a happy medium that I think, to be honest, I think Toto and Christian, from what I see anyway, you probably get about spot on. Um in terms of responsibility it's not so much blame but people should be yeah i'm sure we've all been uh, a lot of us here have been in jobs where if you make a mistake you will be fearful of owning up to it 
you know, you'll be fearful of being like, oh yeah, that's good. Because actually in the long term, you want people to be able to admit to their mistakes because then you get to a solution quicker. Everyone makes mistakes. If you've got that fear culture where people don't want to put their hands up and be like, yep, yeah, I, I messed up. Then you spend so much more time trying to find out who made the error. I, I get there's merit to not having blame culture, 100%. I think there's loads of merit to it. But also, like personal responsibility, come on, like, be seen to be doing something proactive and positive moving forward. And I think that's where, yeah, Mattia just maybe came up a bit short, you know. Um, right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to put a poll together with the names um, I'm seeing most. So who's going to take the job? So is it going to be the... Or, or, no, the, who should... Not who's going to. Who should take the job? The Sir, uh, Braun... Um, who else? I'm gonna, I'm gonna look, look through the yeah, because Arriva Benes is he still at Juventus? I'm not, I'm not sure actually. Um, Vasur and Braun, I'm put Arriva Bene back. Hey, yeah. So, because Seidel has been Seidel has been mentioned quite a bit as well actually. Andreas Seidel. Um, me, me for team principal. Imagine, <laughs> imagine. Uh, I can't even speak Italian. I'll be like, "All right, everyone, how we doing?" <laughs> Ciao. <laughs> oh dear. Um, who should take the job? Braun. Oh, Braun's getting a big, big chunk of the vote. You know. Cheers, Ryan. Again, who's the bloke who talks to Sky on the pit wall? Um, well, they've got Lauren Mekis, who's um, who's Lauren Mekis' job? Hang on. He is assistant team principal and race director. Is Lauren Mekis because he used to be the FIA? Um, but yeah, I, I I do think you know it's kind of like you know when science went from McLaren to Ferrari at the time McLaren were. Behind, um, ahead of Ferrari um, but the Ferrari pool was enough I do wonder um, because the, the team principal market is also le less so than the driver market obviously it's less volatile but you know it's kind of like you, you sack a football manager and then like okay who, who's going to go next is it someone out of a job are they going to nick someone from another team you know Graham Potter to Chelsea for example that is that a Vasseur move? You know, Vasseur's at Brighton now, Alfa Romeo. Does he go to Chelsea, Ferrari? Interesting. 41% of you say Vasseur. 39% wrong. 11% of Riva Bene, 10% Seidel. Obviously, there's other names in there, but they're the, they're the four that I'm seeing mentioned most. Mbappe. Thank you, Not Bankrupt Racing, for the five. Kimi was Kawasaki's team principal in MXG. He was actually, wasn't he? I, I, did, I remember that actually. It's a good shout. Well, I don't know how good a team principal he was, but he was. He did the job. Um, oh yeah, the whole Juventus board. I literally, I saw that on Twitter yesterday. The whole board at Juventus, which I'm assuming includes Arriva Bene, stepped down. This is weird. So like the same day, R Ross Braun steps down and Arriva Bene stepped down. And then this is announced today. I, I see. I see what's going on, Ferrari. Like bringing the band back together. They're gonna have Braun. They're gonna have Arriva Bene. They're gonna have it. They're gonna get everyone back. They're gonna get Todd back. You know, they're gonna, they're gonna get everyone back. <laughs> oh, did Arriva Bene stay? Fair enough. Fair enough. Okay. Fair enough. So much for the whole board. Um, yeah, Bra Braun's been in the FA for far too long. Can't see him going against them on rules and regulations. It's a good point, Savar. It's a good point. He was, what, six six years, was it? He was working for F1, working for the FIA. Um, oh, for me, who should take the job? Oh, the, th the thing is, right, with Fred Vasseur, obviously, because he was at Renault for a year, he left because he didn't feel like he was getting kind of his own way, basically. He, he, wanted, he wanted it his way. The team were like, nah, we want it this way. And he was like, okay, bye. Gone to Alfa Romeo. It's very hard. It is hard, right? Because Alfa Romeo don't have a massive budget. 
But also, there's other teams who struggled financially. Racing Point, Slash Force India, had a lot more success than Sauber have done in the last kind of like, look at the last like ten years. These are teams with, you know, if anything, these have got more budget than them, and it's just like, uh, you know, you look at Renault. You know, have they had the biggest budget? Yes, they're manufacturer backed, but I don't know. Obviously, the the Vasseur. Signing Vasseur isn't a really exciting one. I think taking a Seidel, for example, would be a very... If they, if they could nab Andreas Seidel, I think that would be a worldy of a move from Ferrari, in my opinion. Um, but I also, would it actually happen? Probably not. Um, I don't know. It depends how much Zach Brown's uh, softened up and Andreas, how good of a contract... Um, excitement is the last thing they need. Yeah, and maybe you're right, Richard. Maybe you're right. Maybe, maybe someone like Vasseur, who's who's pretty low key, um, he's clearly got a good relationship with Charles, which again is is, is important. Side already declined. Yeah, I, I I did I did hear that they had approached Side when he said no, but you never know. Don't write it off completely, and, and until that's announced, you never know. You never know. I might come back to him with a better offer. You don't know. Steiner. Imagine Steiner at Ferrari. Steiner at Ferrari. I need to Photoshop that, don't I? I really need to Photoshop Steiner. Steiner at Ferrari. Um, thank you, Stephen, by the way, for the 449. Arriva Benio is, is, only, is the only stand in the interim until a new president is appointed. Oh, you're talking about Juventus. Yeah, fair. Um, interesting. Keep control away. <laughs> Horner. Hold up. Look, what I will say, right? What more can Christian Horner achieve at Red Bull? He's done it all. He's won the four with Vettel, and then it kind of won the odd races. Now he's won two in a row with Verstappen. Got the best car. Still got Adrian Newey. What? In the same way, right, we've seen plenty of drivers over the years who've taken on projects. You know, Vettel, Sebastian Vettel could have stayed at Red Bull and, you know, persisted, tried to make it good. But the lure of Ferrari and taking Ferrari somewhere was, was, was a big pull. And that lured Seb in. Christian Horner Ferrari, that would be a, an Englishman in Ferrari. Ross Braun did all right, didn't he? I'm pretty sure he's English. Um, Horner is too British. Now, to be fair, Christian Horner and Ferrari, I just can't even imagine that. I can't even... I feel like if I tried to Photoshop that, my Photoshop would just freeze. Like, as soon as I put the head onto the Ferrari torso, it would just freeze. It's like if you try and take a picture... Do you, you know, if you take a picture of, of, a, of a note... Of like a five pound note or something, you put it on Photoshop, it won't open it. I think it would be like that. Yeah, you know I mean, I, I I honestly feel that would happen. <laughs> um, thank you, Bass, for the six euros. Do you think Ferrari had slash could have its best year under non-Italian management? Well, uh, thing is, I mean, look, Bernardo was born in Switzerland, wasn't he? So he's not actually Italian. Well, his parents... I, I did a video on but I didn't I? I've, I've done a profile on Mattia. I'm trying to remember. He was born in Switzerland and he, he was educated in Switzerland. But he, I think both of his parents were Italian. And then he went to Ferrari as his first job out of university. Um, so... There you go. No, I, I don't know. I, I think that oh, look, ultimately... like. Just because you're a certain nationality doesn't actually like maybe you feel the pressure a bit more if you are Italian. Um, that's the only thing I would say because you really you, you're much more likely to understand really what that means. Whereas if you're coming in from any other part of the world um, where you don't have that emotional attachment, I guess maybe that's where someone outside of um, Italian candidates could be arguably stronger but then also maybe 
having someone who is Italian who does understand that maybe they would that would just push them to, you know, work that a little bit harder. Hello, Hannah. Wife's in the chat. Wife's in the chat, everyone. Um, just on screen at the Italian. <laughs> oh dear. What about Cyril Beatable? No, look. I, I think that I think it will be for sir. I think it will be Fred for sir. I can't think of any other candidate off the top of my head who's, you know, I don't know. I mean, again, I would push for Seidel if I was Ferrari, but if they don't, if you don't, they can't get Seidel, I think, I think Vasseur is, is all right, is all right. I, I wonder as well, Vasseur, obviously with Audi coming in, does he maybe feel like, you know, when when Aldi do eventually take over that team, will they want to bring in their own people? Could he lose his job then? If there's a Ferrari opportunity for him now, will that be around forever? So say they didn't go with Vasseur. So say they offered it to Fred and he was like, no, I'm going to stay. And then he gets dropped by Audi when they take over the team. And I know it's like 26, it's a little bit down the line, but, you know, when the when that Ferrari when that Ferrari phone rings, you pick it up. Vettel picked it up. Science picked it up. For sure, will pick it up. But will he say yes? We'll see. Aldas would be good. Do you reckon? Do you reckon? Yeah, Audi will want their own people. That's the thing. I feel, I feel like Audi probably would want. There's a risk for Fred for, in staying that Ferrari would, um, Audi would want to bring their own people in. It's interesting though. It's in Sword will take the job. There we go. Sword will take it. Thank you, Swapan, for the 40 rupees. Rory Byrne is at Ferrari still should be an option. Yeah, look, there's going to be a lot of people internally who aren't necessarily big names um, that could potentially do the job for sure. Um, you know, Bonotto wasn't a big name. He He gradually moved up through the ranks. And then eventually inherited the role for internally. You do wonder if there's anyone at Ferrari that, you know, I guess who, it's whoever Elkin, John Elkin, who, who's again the, the big American owner at Ferrari, you know, backs and has confidence in, I guess. Um, Flavio Brittori out of nowhere. Please, no. Um, I mean, uh, the drama would be amazing, but no. Um, that man is way too dodgy. Uh, thank you, David, for the two Aussie. Arriva Benny reside and prosecutors want jail to... Wow, really? Blimey, I didn't realise it was that bad at Juventus. Um, there we go. Michael Massey. Imagine if Michael Massey took over at Ferrari. <laughs> That'd be the most left field shout ever. Junior Dingo, thank you, mate. And out of left field comes Flavio Briatori. Berlusco, oh my God. Yeah, who, who would be the worst... The the worst possible person for the job. That, that, that that's a that's a bet. I, I want I want to hear your worst possible suggestions. Within reason, of course. You, how dare you? How dare you? I would be great. <laughs> Thank you, Skylar. Do you think this will make a difference um, as whether Leclerc wins a championship? A hundred percent. This is going to have knock on effects. You know for sure. Um, what those knock-on effects will be, who knows? Remains to be seen, doesn't it? That's the thing. It it does remain to be seen. Um, thank you, Alec, by the way, for the 20. Bloody, you lot are generous today. Thank you. Third time picking you over an OnlyFans subscription. Respect. Good man. Keep it in your pants, Alec, all right? Jeez. <laughs> um, right, what we got? What we got here? Look up. Super G2, nice. Ron Dennis. Ricardo come back as a team principal. Hey, look. I'm sure funny things have happened. Kieran Mbappe, that would be out of nowhere. Jos Verstappen, that's it. Jos Verstappen takes the team principal at Ferrari and brings Verstappen with him. And then it's Verstappen Leclerc at Ferrari. And then it's Science Perez at Red Bull. And it's the battle and actually, Science Perez outperformed Verstappen uh, Leclerc. You heard it here first. Yeah. 
You heard it here first. Imagine if Seb got this job. Imagine, imagine, just imagine for a minute, right? Imagine if Seb actually got the Ferraro team principal job. Imagine, just, just picture it. Um, that would be the, 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 the social media. <clears throat> oh my God. Liz Trust. <laughs> Steven, the hazard with Liz Trust. There you go. <laughs> would she outlast the lettuce? That's the question. Um, <laughs> Sava, Hulkenberg, super sub. I'd be surprised if that hasn't already been photoshopped and put out into the world. I'd be surprised. Um, no, look, the thing is, right, what, the job of a team principal is to make sure you've got the right people doing the right job. Your job isn't to be a specialist in any one particular thing, you know? Christian Horner is a very, very successful team principal. He's not an engineer. He's, you, you have to understand what's required to be successful in Formula One and then make sure the right people are in the right jobs. And also, you have to be the, the face of the team. Now, someone like Sebastian Vettel, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, I'll be perfect, I specialise in nothing. <laughs> Ah, uh, I feel you. I feel you, Vega. I feel you. Um, that that is the job. So, again, and this is why kind of Bonotto, yes, very technically um, adept, but not necessarily um, the right person to lead a team. Matt Hancock. No, no, Jill Scott. Jill Scott for uh for our, for our team principal. <laughs> me and Aldas should. Me and Aldas is like a pair. Should have. <laughs> No, you, we do it like, um, we do it, every single decision is made by a Twitter poll. We go full Elon Musk on it. Maybe Elon Musk should take over and then every single decision should be done via Twitter poll. Look, stranger things have happened. Eddie Jordan, listen, Eddie Jordan, he's a, he's a marketing man. Um, but yeah, there we go. Plenty of suggestions, but who knows? Honestly, who knows? Who knows? Right, um, so what now for Bonotto? So this is this is an interesting point now going forward because if, I'll tell you what, right? If I am, hmm, if I am a team like, maybe an Aston Martin, if I'm a team like an Alpine, I think Mattia Bonotto, like, he's clearly a very, very talented, very, very likable, very, very intelligent person who could do an amazing job for another team on the grid. Bonotto to Haas. I mean... That would kind of make sense, obviously. With the, you got Simone Resta already already made the jump from Ferrari to Haas. A lot of Ferrari team principal have gone. To, um, a lot of Ferrari team members have gone to Haas. <laughs> Ryan open his own pizzeria. Well, look, maybe that could be a side hustle, you know. Thank you, Devesh, as well for the forty rupees. Kimi is team principal for a Ferrari. Uh, for what? Maybe. Stranger things have happened, I'm sure. Perfect in Sauber. Yeah, look, maybe a Bonotto Vasseur switcheroo. You know, Bonotto is Swiss. Bonotto is definitely Swiss. So, Red Bull. Look, I would be very surprised if he doesn't get courted by at least one other team. I'd be very surprised. I think, I think the idea that Mentir Bonotto is available... You put him in, in a chief technical officer role at a team. Um, I think he'd be, I think that would be a, a foolish, foolish to not go for, you know? Who? I don't know. I, I think the only the only teams are obviously Red Bull. They've got Newey. You know, they've also got other, you know, um, senior personnel at Red Bull. I think I don't think Red Bull would want to bring someone uh, like Bonotto in. Maybe Mercedes could do with a bit of a change in, in that front as well. I don't know. 
I, I do think a lot of doors could potentially be open to Matia. It depends what he wants ultimately, but I, I think teams would be foolish not to consider taking him on. You know, cheers, Blue Pill, by the way. Joe Venazzi for team principal. Forget the wheel. Jesus, take the old team. Jesus at the wheel. Love it. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm trying to think who I could see him at most likely. Because obviously, yeah, Alfa Romeo, but then there's the uncertainty around Audi coming in. I think he's a good place to be as a driver. As a team principal, I'm not so sure. Hey, yeah, maybe Alfa Romeo. I, I feel like Alfa Romeo Sauber, I think, is the one I could see most likely. But no, maybe Lauren Rossi will jump in and give him a, a wishy-washy contract. <laughs> it doesn't actually mean anything. Um... <laughs> Matthias to restore Williams to its former glory. That would be lovely, wouldn't it? That would be beautiful. Wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Sky Sports News understands that Fred Vasseur, Ferrari Links Alpha Romeo will join. Yeah, I mean, with all the noise around, it seems like Vasseur it's going to be. But yeah, where does Bonato end up next? Hannah, Hannah, how, how far away are you? I know you've got no keys. Are you outside now? Because I'm, I'm about to wrap this up anyway. But yeah, anyway. That's it. But I was gone. But I was out of here. Um, end of an era. And we'll see. We'll see. He's got the, to the end of this year in the job. And we will see. But thank you all for coming. Appreciate you all taking the time. Um, it's done. Minton, yeah, you know what? You stay till the end. So you get, you get a little, uh, you get a little Minton appearance he's, he's literally sat right behind me so now hannah's not locked outside she, she's she's like two minutes away um come here mate oh, here we go oh, here he is do you reckon you'll get the job mate do you want the ferrari job do you want the ferrari job because you know you know what they um you know what italy is really well known for ham Ham. Ham. Always, always little tongues come out now. This is his favourite words. Right. Thank you all for coming. Appreciate to everyone who donated as well. Very, very generous. Um, and thank you to everyone who's watching this after the fact as well. Um, if you're not live, appreciate you all taking the time. Like the video and subscribe to the channel. And yeah, I'm done. See you soon. Goodbye. Bonato is out. Ciao, adios. We're done.